you know, you look at bands like Oasis or even the Beatles for that matter. Those guys stood there um, like a stone wall. I would think dancing on stage is a huge decision for you. It wasn't a question of making a decision to dance. I just couldn't, I couldn't have this music going on and not move around, you know. Even in these tiny little spaces that we had, you know, in the early days, it was just the natural thing to do. To me, being a singer, to being in a band, to even dancing on stage, it requires a real confidence. I think how if you, if you're, you know, a lead singer in a band, you have to be, you know, an extrovert. And yes, you see, you watch other people and you copy other people. You know, I used to look at all these James Brown clips and go and see him and Chuck Berry and all these people. And, and, and they had great moves. All, all these people that I adored, like Jerry Lee Lewis and all these, they had great moves. They did certain moves repetitively. They, you, he's going to do this move. He's going to stand on the piano. He's going to kick the chair. He's going he's gonna to do the split. Is gonna do, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so this is you know part of what it is to be a lead singer, and also you know there's times when you don't want to do that because there's times you want to center the 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 audience on the stage, so you you you're gonna be pretty still and just hold the center stage, you know, particularly when you're doing some a, a particular song or ballad, perhaps, so that you don't want to be running around like a chicken with its head cut off all the time because it's just too annoying. But when I was much younger, I just did crazy things. I used to jump off the stage into the organ pit in these theatres and on my knees, and I'd, <laughs> my knees would be, like, killing me But because I didn't know what was there. It was covered up in drapes. I, but I'd seen little Richard do that, so I thought, well, okay, I can do that. If he can do it, I can do it. Uh, and so I used to jump off the stage, I used to run around the, you know, I mean, I just could do absolutely crazy things that I hadn't rehearsed, you know. I heard a great story about you that you were trying, you know, you were trying things out and you said, I'm going to do this move that James Brown does where he takes the microphone, he whips it down, you know, with, with the wire and then he whips it back up and you whipped it back up and you hit yourself in the face. Uh, with yeah, the microphone. The, <laughs> that was that's it. Part it was pra- like- <laughs> that's part of the practice, the <laughs> dangers of practice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's a difficult move. I mean, Prince used to, Prince used to do that move perfectly. He could do that. It was it was a move everyone had to do. So I had to try and learn to do it, but I was never very good. <laughs> 